Hey guys, welcome back to the Wesleys. I'm here again with another tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to sublimate onto a tile. This is one of the larger tiles. You can get a smaller tile from Lowe's or Home Depot. You can also get this one from Lowe's or Home Depot. I'm going to be using this Scotch thermal paper. It's eight and a half by 11, and you can pick this up at Walmart, or I can leave you a link down in the description to order this off of Amazon. I'm gonna to try to make this a quick and simple tutorial for you to follow. If you do enjoy this video, give me a big thumbs up. Also subscribe if you guys are wanting to see more DIY or tutorial videos. We do occasionally throw in some vlogs, so if you guys are interested in that, be sure to subscribe down below and hit that little bell so you get notified when we post our next video. We're gonna get the press ready, the tile ready, and then I'm gonna show you how I designed my design. I'm going to be pressing our lamination paper onto the tile at 380 degrees. This is our press right here, 16 by 20. It's the DKS, so Digital Knights Swinger. We already have that preheating, it's almost ready, so let's go ahead and get our tile ready. I wanted to show you guys this box of thermal laminating pouches and we're just going to be ripping the pouches in half and we're going to clean off our tile. My hands are very dry because I just washed them. You don't really want any oily fingerprints on your tile or on this laminating sheet. So just ignore my dry hands throughout this video. Here's our laminating pouch. You can see that the outside is nice and shiny. It is a pouch so when you open it, it's like this. It's just a pouch. It has a little crease in the middle. You have your shiny side and then you have your matte side, and you want to just rip this right down the middle, like that. You're gonna use only one side. You want the matte side to go down onto the tile. So shiny side up, facing you. First, we're gonna get a rag and wipe this very well. You wanna get your fingerprints and all the dust off of this tile so you have it nice and clean. A lot of people recommend using alcohol, but I actually don't have alcohol on hand right now. So I do have a little bit of glass cleaner on this rag. Now I'm gonna take this over to the press. First, you wanna cover the bottom of your press with a piece of butcher paper. I was gonna show you guys this roll of butcher paper that we bought at Sam's. I also left a link down in the description if you guys are interested in buying a roll of butcher paper. It's a lot cheaper just to buy a whole roll of it and we love using it. It actually fits perfectly on the top of this tool desk that we bought at Lowe's. So we have our butcher paper. I went ahead and put our tile on there. Then we placed our lamination sheet. And then you want to press at 380 degrees for about three minutes. I did check mine about every 60 seconds just to make sure that I wasn't burning anything. You're just basically wanting that lamination sheet to be stuck to the tile. So definitely press for three minutes or four minutes, but check every 60 seconds just to make sure that you're not getting any burns anywhere or melting any plastic to the paper. So just move very slowly so that you don't accidentally knock your tile onto the floor. I hope you guys can see how it's starting to get wrinkled on the edges. And this is just telling you that it is melting to your tile. This tile is very, very hot, so if you don't have any gloves, I would wait probably about 30 minutes before you start cutting the edges off. So I am gonna go ahead and let it sit for about 30 minutes, and then we will come back and trim off all the edges. And while the tile is cooling off, I'm gonna take you onto my phone. I will be using the Pixar app once again to make my design, and I'm just gonna show you guys quickly how I do that. And then we will go ahead and print out our sublimation print and press our tile. And now that our tile is cooled off a little, I am going to be using this little X-Acto knife to cut all around the edges. You guys could probably do this when it was hot. Plastic would probably cut off better while it was warm. I don't have gloves and I didn't want to burn my hands. And if you do miss any of these edges or you cut a little bit crooked, that's okay because you can press it onto the press to kind of smooth or melt down the edges. I'm going to set this aside and get us a new piece of butcher paper for our sublimation. And now I'm going to take you over to the computer and we're going to print off our sublimation print. We will be using this 8.5 by 11 A sub paper. And if you guys are interested in any of this A sub paper, I will be linking it down in the description. I actually had someone ask me about sublimation paper and it is a special paper for sublimation and you have to have sublimation ink in your printer. And this is the Epson ET15000 printer that we use, but it is the most recommended for sublimation printing. So if you're interested in starting to sublimate, 
sublimate. And I would definitely look into this printer. This printer, you do not have to convert into a sublimation printer. You're literally filling those ink cartridges with sublimation ink. All these products are linked down in the description if you guys are looking for this. Like always, load your paper into the printer with the white side facing down and your A sub writing facing up. And here on the computer, I have my file opened. It's just a regular JPEG. Once again, not in any fancy software, no fancy printer profiles for this project. Most of my projects, I don't use any software or anything like that. You're gonna go to file, go down to print. You have your Epson ET15000. Default settings, copies one, pages all. Paper size is eight and a half by 11. Orientation is vertical. And here's your preview button. This button you will use often. On preview, you wanna turn off auto rotate. I'm gonna take you guys back to the tile. It's gonna compare the eight and a half by 11 paper to the tile and that is how I get my size. So I have my ASA paper here. I can see that I have a little bit of space on the edges and then I can see how tall this paper is compared to the tile. So I might actually go ahead and print this print to a full eight and a half by 11 sheet just because it will fit perfectly over it. Since the eight and a half by 11 paper almost fits that tile perfectly, I am gonna go ahead and just say fill entire paper. So you're gonna use this button again, go down to media quality, best, layout. As always for sublimation, you want to click flip horizontally and that's basically mirroring your image so that your letters don't come out backward. Paper handling, we're gonna to go to scale to fit paper size, US letter size. Cover page, watermark, and supply levels you don't have to even mess with. It's ready to print. And we're ready to go ahead and press on our sublimation print. You're just going to flip it over, face down, and you can tape it down, but I'm a little bit busy today and I don't have time to wait. Put your piece of butcher paper on there and then you're gonna press it 380 degrees for two minutes. All right guys, and it came out super nice. I don't know if you can see that it has kind of a cloudy look and that's okay. You can just go ahead and take one of your towels and just wipe it down and it will look perfectly fine. I'll let it cool off for a couple of minutes and then I'll take it to the table and do my normal up close view. And that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. If you did, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel if you guys are wanting to see more DIY videos. Thank you once again for watching. I hope we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.